Lash Crackers, it's trainer Kim Lyons here with a five and a half month baby bump. And um, today's focus, I want to give you guys a tip on how to work your inner and outer thighs and your glutes. And then towards the end, I'm going to show you a different drill where you can bring in your upper body. Now, I know for women, this is a huge focus area, and I get the question all the time, how do I work my inner and outer thigh? These are actually your abductor and your adductor muscles. So today I'm going to use the uh, gym in the bag resistant band with the ankle attachments. And uh, keep in mind, I have this set up on my stair rail, but you can also hook this up around a heavy coffee table um, or a kitchen table, obviously it has to be really heavy, or also the legs of your couch work. Now I'm going to be using the stair rail for support, but you can also, if you have it around the bottom of your couch leg, you can use a chair in front of you to help get you that support or balance that you may need especially if you're just beginning this. Now for the men out there that are going, oh, I don't need to work that area, these muscles are crucial when you're playing sports, such as baseball or football or anything where you're down in this motion. This is the same muscle group that you'll want to work. So it's very important to tone these. If not just for the look of it, you want to have strength in this area as well. So let's get started. What you'll want to do is take a fairly nice wide stance, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and you can either stand with your hands on your hips if you've already got good core stability, or you can place one hand on the railing or again a chair in front of you. You're going to shift your weight slightly, turn that toe in, and you're going to bring the leg up and down. Now you'll notice here that my posture is totally upright and my abs are tight, so that way I can also balance and just using this outer muscle right here. This is your abductor, okay? So I like to do about 50 on this side, or you can also do different reps, but whatever level you're at, you can even start at doing 10 here, and then turning, rotating, and doing 10 to the back, and then turning and doing 9 to the side, and do the countdown all the way um, down to zero. So let me show you the glute exercise. For this one, the same concepts apply. You'll want to keep your posture with your head up, shoulders back, and abs tight. This will really help your balance, so you want to make sure that you are keeping those abs tight and don't hold your breath. So here's how you do the glute. You turn to the back, holding the railing, and you're just going to lift and lower. When you can, get your balance and hold it just like this. Now the key with this one is not to do jerking movements like this, okay? You'll notice that this is using momentum and not the glute. It's a very small motion when you use your glute. It's just squeeze and lower. Squeeze and lower. So, to combine these two, you just stand sideways. Again, lift that foot, point that toe slightly downward so that you're not working the hip flexor. You'll feel it here rather than here in the front. You'll just go to the side. And however many you can do when you start to feel that burn, then you'll rotate and go to the glutes. Okay? So, good luck with that one. You definitely will feel the burn in the right places. If you are feeling it in your hip flexor when you go to the side, just take that toe and point it down. Bring the heel up. Using the puppet example, I always like to say, if you're a puppet, you have your, if the string is attached to your heel, pulling upward. Now, so that works your outer thigh and your glute. Now for the inner thigh. For this one, you'll take a step on top of the band, take a staggered stance, Again, either use the railing for balance or get your balance here, and you're just going to lift and come out. Lift and come out. Again, I'll say it over and over, posture is so important. You have to keep your core tight in order to keep your balance. So it's out and in, and it's just like a soccer kick. You're driving that heel out. You want to, again, be careful not to jerk it. You don't want your whole torso to be here. Keep it nice and stable and just lift and lower, lift and lower. And that's going to work your inner thigh or your adductor muscles. Now, another fun exercise that I like to do here is a side lunge. And this just adds a little bit more power into the exercise and will also bring your heart rate up as well. So, I like to start with my hands here because it's going to lead to another motion. And you're just going to take a big step out into a side lunge. Sit back into the hips. And I like to go down, dropping, keeping the chest up, head neutral, and the back nice and flat. You don't want to come down into this motion. Nice and flat, and come back in. 
resisting the resistant band as you come in. Don't let the resistant band do the work for you. So here's what it looks like. Now something else you want to be mindful of when you do this is not to stop. You'll notice when I land, it's very light. You don't want to come out here and be like, and jerk back in. Gentle on the feet. Make sure you land softly with all your movements. Now, if you want to add a little bit of resistance to that movement, it's as simple as grabbing a weighted ball, or you can use a dumbbell, and if you don't have either of those, you can even use a gallon of water or just anything that has a little bit of weight to it. I recommend using a minimum of five pounds for this. Okay, so you'll take that just like this, hold that ball, step out, tap, and come back in. Tap, and come back in. So notice I'm down with a nice flat back, chest is up, tapping the ball, and coming back in. Now if I can do that with a five month pregnant belly, you guys can do that at home. You'll notice your heart rate will go up, so you're going to burn a ton of calories, and it will tighten and tone your lower body like no other exercises. So uh, give it a try, play with it, have fun with the numbers. Like I said, one of my favorite things is to do drop sets, where I'll start with 10 to one side, and then rotate, do 9, 8, 7, and keep going all the way down. Um, it's also good to just mix it up with... Um, Lifting, you know, if you want to do any other exercise in between, you can do bicep curls, you can do overhead presses, you can do squats, whatever you want to add in there. Just be sure that you work that lower body to tighten and tone the glutes and inner and outer thighs.